ASTK gets you your endorsed card. Here they give you my quick, hopefully it'll be quick, Persona 5 review. So I'm not gonna spoil anything, so you good with that. I'm just gonna get out my thoughts on the game and if it's good or not, you know, that's, that's what I'm doing. I ain't gonna really give it a number, but yeah. So, of course, like if you play any of the uh, like three, four, you your character moves, like transfers from his hometown or wherever he was at before that. And in this case, on this one, you are coming here, come to a certain area because of your own probation for a soul case, which you will find out how that soul case, how how you care to get that soul case as you progress on to the game, but. We do have some similarities from before. You got Morgana, which is this um, cat character. If you play four, we had Teddy, the Teddy Bear character. Both of these characters are trying to find out who they really are, you know? Uh, but as far as the characters, I really enjoyed the characters. I liked the Futaba, I liked the Morgana. Shout out to the voice actress from Morgana, I really enjoyed that voice and the little sound. Things. Especially when they did the, the, the meow noise, I, it just made me smile every time I heard it. Uh, the Taba characters, I, I like her little, how she sounds too. Um, so shout out to the voice actress for that the character as well. Um, the Shogi player character, I, I like that character for some reason though. Um, the Fortune Teller, she was pretty cool. Uh, oh, you're the doctor. I like the doctor character. I knew I like the doctor character from the start before I even played the game. I was watching the clips on Atlas YouTube channel. I was like, I'm, I'm gonna like this character right here. Um, who else? Who else I like? I mean, all the all the characters on the game was pretty good in my opinion, you know. And uh, oh, you're the teacher. The teacher, yes. But they had a lot of large characters from the on the um, game that I really enjoy. You know, um, has some interesting romance um, endings with them, you know. I got multiple save files, by the way, because I, I made a lot of different save files, like, just in case I wanted to go and do the romance option with some of these characters, so, yeah. But, really like the characters. Um, Story-wise, I don't want to spoil the story, but I do want to say it was a very good story. It had a lot of twists and turns. And I, if I say this part right here, which I'm not going to say it because it, it's just going to spoil it. But if you played Persona games in the past, you're going to notice something different. That's all I'm going to say. You don't know it's saying different. I can't say no more because I'm going to spoil it. But it's gonna have a twist right there. A twist in a good turn. A twist and turn right there. But um as far as gameplay, you pretty much walk around like pretty much you could walk walk around like the I mean you could walk around other ones as well, but on this one it's more expanded. You could walk around like the town you in, the little area you in, you walk around through the uh, train station area to like the central street. And then you can uh, go to Aku Akubara. Uh, you can go to like this other district. Of course, you gotta take trains and stuff, but they also have a fast travel feature. But of course, you gotta go to the place first before you fast travel. But uh, hey, lots of different places you can visit. Lots of places that you can hang out with, with like carrots and stuff too. So I really enjoyed that. Um, jobs you can do is. Work at a flower shop, a convenience store, a beef stew place, and you can work at a nightclub. Yes, a nightclub. Well, it's like a bar, so yeah. Um, activities you play baseball, go fishing. Uh, they have like challenges and stuff, like the burger challenge, which I'm proud to say I have completed that burger challenge at Big Bang Burger. Um, what else? Oh, you go to like maid cafes. Uh, of course, you could play uh, video games. You can't play at the arcade unless you meet this one character. You play it with him, but you can also buy your um, um, home console. 
and you play it at the house and that boosts up your status. Uh, uh, you can make tools and stuff. There's lot, lots of good uh, things. Like I really enjoy, I really enjoy the gameplay on, on this one right here. I like that it has so many choices on this game. Um, what else? What else? A lot. I talked about the characters. I talked about the game, game play. Uh, the soundtrack. Oh, you may have met before I do that. On this one, they brought back old stuff. I guess I never played the first one or the second one, but I know these. So, I, like, people that make Persona are it's the same to do the uh, Shin Megami Tensei games. And I heard that you like you talk to like the the devils and stuff. You talk to like the personas and stuff on this one. And you could pretty much gain them by just convincing them to join you. But you only do that to the ones that's in your area, your level range. If they are higher level than you, then you won't be able to gain them. But yeah, they added that. Oh yeah, the thing when you fuse your personas, I love the the, the inherited the skills part because that helped out a lot. Um, that was a real nice touch to it, you know. Um, if you fuse the persona, when you fuse the persona, you could like, whatever skills those two personas had, you could like, bring it to your other, to the new, newly made persona, so that was nice. And um, they had skill cards, which you could like, have skills, and you could just use that and give it to a certain persona that you, to your liking. Um, what else? That's pretty much it for the game. Oh, oh wait, hold on. No, no, no. Okay. So you use guns on this one. Like, you can actually shoot guns. Uh, yeah, on, on the three I played, which is three, four, and five. I mean, on three, he had a gun, but he didn't actually use the gun. But uh, you can, like, use guns like, for, like, piercing attacks and stuff on this one. So I like that. Um, just a little tip or a hint, hint. When you are able to start talking to the kid at the arcade, y'all need to um, y'all need to hang out with him a little bit because he's gonna teach you some useful tricks that you may need later on in the game. So go check him out. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed the gameplay. It had lots of different different things on here. You could switch your party during mid battle, like, but you won't be able to attack with your main character, you know. So you can use his turn to switch out the character. Which was very helpful at times, so I like that as well. Uh, I'm not sure if three and four had it, but I don't, I don't remember. But you could do like um, what's called Fountain Pass. It's pretty much like you use, let's say, you use a, a piercing attack and you knock one enemy down. You could pass that turn to another character. It'll make the attack more strong. And, um, so I like that. And you can do that multiple times too, as long as you have ha had, as long as the characters learned that Bolton Pass um, skill. But uh, yeah, gameplay was really good. This video is still long, you're not trying to make it short. <laughs> but um, last thing I'm gonna talk about is the soundtrack. The soundtrack, it's on point, it's on point. They got the music when they wanna make you feel sad, they got the music when they make you wanna feel happy. Music when you want to be mad. You got the creepy music. They got everything. Everything is on point with the with the music. But yeah, overall, like I said, I don't want to give um games like numbers. But I also rate this game. I would say this game is great. And that would be y'all decide the number eight and up. It's great, you know. Um, but yeah, I really really enjoyed Persona Five. Happy that I beat it. I was so sad that I'd be there as well because I had a great time on this game. You know? But um, yeah, sorry I couldn't scream. I, I, I mean, sorry I couldn't stream it. You know, um, at this day I guess at this day want this stuff to be streamed or whatnot. So I wasn't I wasn't able to stream it. You know, the gameplay would be blocked or whatnot. But um, thanks for checking out this video. Also, big thanks to the Atlas team and the Sonic team you know for giving us this game I really enjoyed it look forward to Persona 6 even though that's nowhere close but really enjoyed the game looking forward to 
the next adventure, you know. But I'm TK, TK Rodor's car. Thanks for tuning in. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at TK Rodor's car. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Peace. Maybe I should just take your hearts and make y'all bring out Persona 6 next year. Let's see about that. <laughs> Please.